Thank you. <laughs> Firstly, I'd like to welcome Honorable Governor, His Excellency, Sri Narasimhan Garu for accepting our invite and for taking the time out and coming all the way here. I'm deeply indebted to Sri Ratan Tata Garu for uh, taking the time out. Actually, he's really uh, made an effort to be here today because uh, I know for a fact that um, it, the, the original date was a couple of months ago. But we were very, very keen that he be here, that uh, he grace the occasion. Therefore, uh, with the consent of the Honorable Governor, we've uh, delayed the inauguration by a couple of months. The reason a lot of people ask me, uh, and uh, I'd also like to acknowledge uh, the presence of our Honorable Chief Secretary, Sri Rajiv Sharmaji, our IT Secretary, Jayesh Ranjan Garu, NASCOM Chairman, BVR Mohan Reddy Garu, Industry Secretary, Arvind Kumarji, IIC Director, uh, uh, Mr. Venkat Narsimha Reddy, CEO of T-Hub, J. Krishnan, CEO, Srinivas Kulipara, and um, I see a lots of lots and lots of people that I really uh, I'm friends with. I'm, I know them well. Andrew McAllister, Consul General uh, uh, of uh, sorry, um, High Commissioner, Deputy High Commissioner. I keep upgrading you each and every time we meet. So <laughs> my apologies. Um, right, uh, Deputy High Commissioner of. Uh, uh, I'm so sorry. I, I, I've, I've met Michael Mullins, Consul General. Uh, of uh, United States of America, Mr. Bedi is here, Ravi is here, Mr. Papa Rao, Pradeep Chandraji, C.V. Anandji, Dean of ISB, the man uh, who was instrumental in making this happen, Ajit Rangnekarji, and uh, where is the Dean of Triple IT? Uh, the man here on whose campus we are sitting, Mr. P.J. Narayanan, the President of NASCOM, Sri Chandshekar Garu. Uh, I'd also like to acknowledge uh, the Honorable Local MP, Sri Vishweshwar Reddy Garu, Konda Vishweshwar Reddy Garu, Local MLA Garu, Gandhi Garu, and two, all my friends and all, uh, you know, uh, uh, all the members of the startup ecosystem of this wonderful country, to my friends from the media, all of you all, a wonderful welcome to you to T-Hub and to the Catalyst Building. So as we've been saying for a while, it starts here. I'm very, very happy to be here. I'm very, very excited to be here, in fact. I'm a very, very strong believer in one thing, and that is Indians as a, as a, Indians as a country, Indians as a, as a nation, while we are acknowledged across the world for being great in terms of providing service, you know, for being amazing in terms of our programming abilities, we are still not acknowledged for our entrepreneurship abilities. Wherever we travel in the world, wherever, whoever we meet across the world, we are acknowledged as this uh, wonderful nation with great tech prowess, but unfortunately we are not really respected for our entrepreneurial abilities. If you come to think about it, what we have gotten addicted to today, a Google, a Twitter, a Facebook, a WhatsApp, and several other Instagrams and other social media outlets today that we see across, you know, in the hands of uh, the mobile portable devices, in the hands of every single youngster in the country today, one of which could have been discovered, one of which could have been created by one among the, you know, 60 million young Indians today. But unfortunately, while we are a country that is respected, we are not a country that's respected for our entrepreneurial abilities. So as our Honorable Chief Minister has said, as our Honorable Prime Minister has been saying, India today, I think, is ready. Young India today is ready to take that challenge. Young India today is not content in being known as the back office of the world anymore. Young Indians today want wings to their aspirations. They want to be challenged. They want to be excited. They want to be in competition with the globe. And they want to really compete with the best in the world. That's exactly what TIHA provides you. T-Hub basically provides you a platform to dabble, to cherish in innovation, to provide you a platform to walk in with an idea and walk out with the product. Everything else is taken care of. Because if you think about it, none of these products that I've just mentioned could not have been discovered by an Indian. It's just that we didn't know what to do with an idea which we may or may not have had. So the point is, governments in India have never really uh, come forward or, you know, put in uh, or walk the talk in terms of trying to promote entrepreneurship. Now that is something government of Telangana as a startup state, as I keep calling our state, the startup state of India, the 29th state of India, has taken that challenge upon itself precisely and has invited Honorable Governor and his Honorable uh, uh, Mr. Ratan Tata here. A lot of people have asked me, why uh, Mr. Ratan Tata, and why are you so particular about Mr. Mr. Tata? See, the word Tata symbolizes, the word Tata reminds us of a robust manufacturing industry, a robust auto, or a robust uh, steel industry. But today, the kind of transformation that's sweeping India, I think that's evident from Mr. Ratan Tata's moves. 
Mr. Tata at his age today, he is actually investing. Every day I read in one newspaper or the other. Every day he's investing in one startup or the other. I think he really truly symbolizes the transformation that's sweeping India today. And that's exactly why we wanted him here. We are very, very excited. We are very, very excited that he's here. He's an uh, honorable governor has inaugurated the building. This building is just the start. We promise that we will have several more of these. We will ensure that we'll not only scale up, we'll not only promote our innovators because we are already out of space, I must tell you. We are already out of space and we are in fact having a good problem, a problem of plenty and we are very, very excited about it. Intent is very, very straightforward to make Hyderabad the startup capital of the country. This is not just a, 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 this is not just a facility for Hyderabadis or the people of this state. This is a facility for young Indians all over the country. Be it a young rural entrepreneur from Meerut or be it a young rural entrepreneur from Ranchi or Lucknow or Bangalore or elsewhere in country. As long as they have a good idea, we would want to do the hand-holding, we would want to help them out in complete sense. We have wonderful mentors, we have a fantastic board here, we have uh, people from all walks of life who have done excellent, exceedingly well in the startup world. We also have a wonderful pool of mentors. We also have a huge support base in the form of venture capitalists. We also have wonderful, three wonderful institutions. The IIIT Hyderabad, which is where we are located, has been a premier destination for technology research and development. They will be hand-holding and they will be doing the technology mentorship. ISB, the Indian School of Business, which is one of the premier business schools in the country, will be doing the business mentorship. Nalsar, which is one of the best law schools in the country, will be doing the legal and IP mentorship. So all in all, a comprehensive package, which will not only handhold, but which will facilitate that an entrepreneur thrives and focuses on his core goal, which is fostering innovation. I think that's the intent of T-Hub. This is just the phase one. Phase two would also come up soon in a couple of years, and that would be a much larger facility. Because like I said, we have a problem of plenty. We're trying to scale up. We're also trying to bring in more and more partnerships. We've already received a lot of uh, very, very interesting um, collaborative offers from incubators in Europe, incubators in the, in, the, in, in the US and elsewhere. We're happy to collaborate and we are also collaborating. I'm very, very happy that NASCOM chairman and president are here. We're also collaborating with NASCOM Foundation, NASCOM 10,000 Startups because, and Ravi is also here. Thank you, Ravi, for being here. This will not just be an incubator for startups. This also will house other incubators. We'll also be working with the technology bellwethers such as Microsoft, Oracle, Google, because each of them have their own strengths that they can bring to the table. Amazon Web Services led by Mr. Bedi is here. We'd be happy to have Amazon also as a part of this. The intent is to bring, make sure we, we create that ecosystem which is conducive, which is effective in creating the next Google, Facebook or Twitter or the next big breakthrough in technology world from India and preferably from Hyderabad from my viewpoint. Our government slogan has been innovate, incubate, incorporate. I think that's the new, new age mantra. And we firmly stand by it with our Honorable Chief Minister's vision, with our proactive policies. I believe that the time has come for Hyderabad to take its rightful position in, the, in India and in the startup space. So once again, it starts here. And I'm glad this is not, I'm glad so many of you took the time out and make it here, made it here. But I'm also hopeful that this won't just be the first visit and last visit. I want you guys to come back, collaborate with us, work with us, come and motivate our young kids here. We've already reached out to several of these huge uh, industry leaders, such as Satya Nadella, Shantanu Narayan, Ajay Banga, who all have one connection or the other to Hyderabad. We've reached out to them, we've taken time from them, we've requested them to come back here whenever time permits, ask them to come and interact with our youngsters here, motivate them, inspire them to greatness, to big achievements. So once again, thank you so much for you know, making, making it here, and I look forward to a day when the next big breakthrough will come from Hyderabad. Cheers.